The SBI is investigating a deputy involved shooting. This all happened early this morning. It was right here at the North Carolina Zoo parking lot. This is right here on Old Cox Road in Asheboro, giving you a live look at the scene for yourself. Again, as you can see, yellow caution tape is still up and blue and white lights are still flashing as several deputies are still here at the scene. Authorities say 21 year old Troy Castor led deputies on a high speed chase from Rowan to Randolph County. He was wanted for larceny of a firearm, attempted armed robbery and assault with a deadly weapon um, with intent to kill. Starting from the beginning, deputies responded to an armed robbery yesterday evening in Rowan County. Authorities say Castor tried to rob a taxi cab driver using a stolen pink handgun. To make matters worse, deputies say Castor tried to shoot the cab driver twice. The first time the gun did not fire. The second time the bullet went through the window of the cab car, missing the driver. And after a brief struggle between the driver and suspect, the cab driver was able to get away unharmed. But the suspect Castor was still on the loose. With deputies search for the suspect throughout the night, and it was around 530 early this morning that Rowan County deputies spotted Castor right near his home. Again, all of this in Rowan County and deputies say they tried to uh, perform a traffic stop, but the suspect failed to stop and sped away. Rowan deputies pursued the suspect from Rowan all the way here to Randolph County. And we know that during the chase, authorities say the suspect reached speeds of over 100 miles per hour. And once again, the chase continued and it ended right here um, at the North Carolina Zoo in this parking lot. And that's exactly what you're seeing right here live at the scene. But again, this is where shots were fired and the suspect was struck and he was pronounced dead at the scene. We do know that um, none of the law enforcement officers involved in this case were hurt. But again, the case is still an ongoing investigation.